Disney's live action remake of The Lion King is almost here, and we can't wait to see it come to life like never before. Today's video is brought to you by Wondershare. Before we get started, I want to talk about how making movies and Disney animation has been something I've been passionate about since I was a kid. And it's never too late or too early to get into filmmaking. With smartphone cameras that shoot amazing and software that is easy to learn, you can get started today making your own movies. Filmora Pro is an amazing editing program that is intuitive and powerful. I love creating a Filmora Pro because it allows me to bring my imagination to life with different projects and short films that I work on. It's loaded with cool features like filters, coloring, which makes a huge difference in my footage, image enhancing effects, title animations, and there's even a bunch of cool audio plugins that can make your audio sound better than it ever did. I've used a lot of editing programs before, and this works fast, and the final product looks amazing. So if you're inspired like I am with amazing Disney movies, you can try Filmora Pro for free by visiting this website or clicking the link in our description. So what are you waiting for? Get ready to bring your imagination to life just like the filmmakers did with the animated classic of The Lion King. Alright, now let's dive into today's video. It was 1994, and the animated film The Lion King became a global box office smash and cultural phenomenon. And now, 25 years later, the king has returned. Disney is calling it a live action remake, but it's actually a completely CGI photorealistic animated film. Whew, that's a mouthful. What a wonderful in short, that means absolutely nothing in this movie is real. The trees, the sky, the plants, the dirt, the animals, it's all 100% CGI. And that is crazy. Or if Mufasa said it, Everything the light touches is CGI. I can't imagine being a kid and seeing this and thinking that it's actually real. Director Jon Favreau is back for The Lion King after the huge success of The Jungle Book which was filmed entirely in downtown Los Angeles, and that was only because it featured a human actor in it. The rest of the movie was all done on a computer. The animals in The Jungle Book looked absolutely real, and that movie came out in 2016. You could definitely see the technology improvements over that time, and that means The Lion King is going to look even better. This movie is Disney's pride and joy. It has to be done right, and fans are anxious to see the film and how much Disney keeps it the same or changes it. Take a look at a few comparison shots from the animated classic and the upcoming remake. As far as changes, obviously many of the characters look different, and we do know that Nala will have a bigger role. Voiced by Beyonce, Nala will have her own song in the film, just as the character does in the Broadway play. After seeing The Lion King on Broadway, it really helped me accept that the characters didn't need to have the same voices or look. This is a new artistic interpretation of the animated classic, just as the Broadway play is. That being said, it's perfectly fine to have new voices, although one voice is returning, and that is Mufasa, voiced by none other than James Earl Jones. Zazu is one of the most different looking characters. Gone are the royal blue feathers, switched out for something more realistic looking. Timon and Pumbaa still capture the Hakuna Matata mindset that we've all come to know and love. Scar is looking very frail and sickly in this remake, not as posh and snooty as the animated version. Oh, I shall practice my currency. Fans have voiced their concerns over these realistic animals not being able to portray facial emotions as well as their previous animated versions. For me, the characters look great and I'm sure Scar will still be as sassy and emo as ever. Oh, simply awesome. The trailer for the movie looks absolutely stunning. It's just mind-blowing that this entire movie was made on a computer. Just take a second and look at the details in these environments. These aren't sets filmed in Africa. These are fully digital worlds that look alive. The Lion King is going to be huge when it roars into theaters on July 19th. 
What are you most excited to see in the upcoming remake? Leave your comment down below and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on everything Disney. And get started making your own movies by clicking the link in our description to download Filmora Pro. We want to see what you come up with.